Okay, so taking some of that orange as a highlight color. Like I said, just touching the upper areas. Also touching all the small uh, feathers. And then I'll go back and shade it down a bit. Before I'm going to add some white or off-white maybe and add the yeah, the, the feather detail. And adding it as a shadow color or a shade color. Just basically watch it, washing all of it with this color. Okay, so I kind of think I like the color. So we'll definitely keep it. I just want everything to dry a bit faster. So just adding different shades of color as we move along. Okay, adding some purple.
and I'll probably try to to paint some highlights already at this stage alright so let's use the orange just gotta figure out a way to hold it okay the orange and a bit of white and start at the very edges to paint some feather detail Yeah, just touching that middle part and then some feather detail, some of the hairs or the filaments. So yeah, just touching the shaft and some and adding some filaments and then also just carefully touching the smaller feathers. Actually, I think I want more orange for those because they are darker. And I want them to stand out a bit more, not look too desaturated from the black that we added. So, down here. Just feeling like making those details a bit more intense. And I'll probably go all the way and add a bit of white. Just in some areas.
Okay, like I said, just some spots of white, I think. Just to point the focus towards those elements. Kind of feel saturation suffers too much if it's too white. Maybe I'll just have to, yeah, get um bury the thought that I had and not do it too white. But the orange is going to to look good anyway. And then let's try some shading. So basically in black lining between the feathers. And hopefully this adds additional contrast. Yeah, I think the red just adds that... I don't know, I can't even describe it, but I just needed that red, I think. So we're good. At least for now. Just going to paint some detail on those. Smaller ones. I feel like those would just catch a tiny spot of light and reflect it all the way. 
because of their shape. I think the trick that Games Workshop did there was to just paint a few details in white and then have the rest be really saturated uh, red be a saturated red let's see we, maybe we can we can do that as well yeah they definitely painted the shafts white and then just had some dots on the upper areas Okay, so just uh, was playing with yeah with colors here and just tried to find the right uh, yeah tint. Because I always feel a tiny bit unsure about my colors, and that's I mean now I was pretty sure how I wanted to start those uh, the the overall colors, but uh, but yeah. I wasn't quite sure. I wanted some red on on the feathers, but it was a bit tricky to get right uh, right away. So what, when I when that happens, I just add some washes with different shades of of red. In that case, red, orange, yeah, a bit of black for the shadows and so on. Um, uh, so yeah, you you don't have to start from from a dedicated base color. You can you can modify your base color as you move along, so that's uh, something that I had to learn along the way. Not to not to get too stuck in okay this is going to be my base color this is going to be my highlight. Just just experiment a bit you know you can always tone down and tint. Um, yeah, colors and adjust uh, your base color as you go it's also way more fun you know it's kinda a, a progress or a, a process that's taking place and uh, a development